Who's been messing up everything? It's been Uncle Jesse all along. Warning, this video contains mild spoilers for WandaVision. If you haven't already seen the show, go watch it now, then come back and check out this video. Hey everyone, Uncle Jesse here. Today we're going to be doing a one-day prop build from WandaVision. We're going to be making Agnes's brooch and necklace. This is a file that was designed by Trace Wilson that's available over on his Etsy shop for five bills. It's a really great price and it's an easy, quick prop that you can run off and 3D print. Today, I'm gonna be printing this on the Elgu Mars 2 Pro. This took about two hours to 3D print. I was able to print both of the brooch options there as well at one time on that build plate. What's great about this is that it is a pretty small prop and it should be a really quick and easy thing for you to run off and finish all in one day. Since the prop is so small and that I printed it on a resin 3D printer like the Elgu Mars 2 Pro, there's really no need for me to run off and sand this. Before we can apply some paint to the prop, I need to apply primer. And before I can do that, I need to find a way to properly hold it. So I'm using Silly Putty on the end of a chip brush. This will allow me to hold on to the prop and paint it throughout this entire process. Next, I'm applying some glossy black paint to the prop using my airbrush and it exploded in my face. Yeah, I have no idea how that happened or what exactly happened there. I was trying to squeeze out some of the black and it just exploded all over the place. You definitely don't need to use an airbrush. If you have a rattle can, that'll work as well for this process. Once that dries, we can start applying the gold details. I had a few different gold paint options to work with here. I ended up using Martha Stewart's acrylic gold paint. Normally I would use some gold rub and buff for a prop like this, but I was nervous it would get into the black stone area. So I decided against using it for this project. Since I am using acrylic paints, I'm gonna have to do multiple passes at this. And I am using a hairdryer to help speed up the curing process for the paint. Now that we've got the gold painted, I can go back through and touch up any of the details that I need to with the black paint. And now it's time to paint the white portion on top of the stone. Very carefully applying using just a white acrylic base for this. Again, this is gonna take multiple passes. I think this was about three or four passes. It took for this to actually get a nice solid white layer on the prop. And I also applied a light clear coat after this. Unfortunately, did not get that on tape, but here you can see the end results where we have a nice glossy looking prop. So the last thing that we need is just a chain that we can loop through the necklace if you're choosing to wear that one, or if you want the brooch, you can attach a glue on some sort of a, a, a pen backing to the back there. So here, let me snap this on. This isn't exactly gold, but it'll do. All right, and our Agatha necklace is now officially done. And there we are, it's all finished and it was an easy one day print and paint project that we were able to do with the Elgu Mars 2 Pro. I did wanna mention this video is being sponsored by the folks over at Elgu. So thank you Elgu for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in finding out more about the Elgu Mars 2 Pro or any of the other Elgu resin 3 printers, you'll find links down below. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of those Elgu products and absolutely loving how fast this prop printed with that mono screen resin 3 printer. Two hour print time for both brooches is crazy. And did I mention I didn't have to do any sanding on this, which is, Perfect. If you're interested in picking up the files here from Trace Wilson, I'll have links down below where you can find those over on his Etsy shop. Again, it's only five bucks and it's a really easy prop for you to run off and make like I just showed you here. One alternative way I could have finished this as well is I could have tried taping off some of the areas and just using my airbrush for the entire project, spraying on the gold and spraying on the white. Just seemed like it was gonna be very, very time consuming and kind of difficult. So I decided to just opt for the easy acrylic brush method. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick one day printer to painting build. I know I did and hopefully we'll be doing more of these here in the upcoming weeks and sharing with you all. Hey, thanks again for watching and I will see y'all next time. Bye now. Who's been messing up everything? It's been Uncle Jesse all along. These are way too much fun to make.